now. What's up, you guys? I'm Giovanna. This is Cardio Sculpt Express. So it's a quick 45 minute version of our original class, which is an hour. All you really need um, is a mat because you don't technically need a mat, but I encourage it. And I would definitely have some water handy, maybe even a little towel. If you have dumbbells and a resistance band, right on, grab it, level up your practice. If not, no worries. You can do this whole thing with just your body weight. Um, one last thing I will share because class past people did not get our playlist either. Um, I'm going to be playing music during class. It'll be pretty soft, so it shouldn't kind of disturb you. But if you did want to play it louder on your end, here is my Spotify playlist link. Let's get started on our backs. Go ahead, close your eyes. Just kind of let go of any stress from your day. Thursday, we did it. Almost there. Take a moment to just acknowledge the fact that you, you know, decided to get off of your couch, off of your makeshift office chair, and get a little workout in, move your body, take care of yourself. You know, it's getting increasingly harder by the day to take that time. So I really thank you all. So just find your breath here, soften your shoulders, relax your jaw. So let's take three rounds of breath all together. Getting to feel the energy of all the people who are tuned into this class, remembering that we're all in this thing together. Through your nose, take a big inhale, fill all the way up. Open your mouth, exhale, let it go. Two more, big breath in. And exhale, let it go. Next inhale, let's reach both arms up overhead. Find a full body stretch from fingers to toes. Get long, take up space. And exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Find some movement here, whatever feels good. My hip flexors are always super, super tight, so I like to make these big circles with my knees. You can take some twists, you can roll out your ankles, whatever you would like. And we're gonna get started with one nice long round of glute bridges. So usually in class, we use a resistance band. Even if you have one, don't use it for now. We're gonna play with some single leg um, bridges. So even if you have a band, toss it to the side. We can use them in our tabletop. Let's skip it for now. So on our back, let's bring feet hips width apart, all 10 toes face forward. And then ankles to track about underneath your knees so shins make this nice straight line. Press evenly into both feet, arms by your sides. Neutral spine the entire time. So we're not finding that yoga back bend bridge. Keep the belly engaged. Lift your hips, exhale, squeeze your glutes. Again, neutral spine. Inhale, lower hips down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower it down. So that's the movement we're gonna be taking. I'm gonna add in the music. Feel free to play it along with me. First song on the playlist in three, two, one, play. All right, we have a song, we have a beat. Let's start to move to it. Arms by your sides, let's go. Hips up, down, up, down, up, down. Lift, lower, squeeze, cover. Keep going just like that. Smooth, controlled movement. So notice again, if you're like swinging the hips, take out the momentum, move with strength, move with control. few more, hips up, hips down, hips up, hips down, squeeze, lower, lift, lower. Let's leave those hips high, start to pulse it out in three, two, one, hips are high, pulse, up one inch, down one inch, little tiny squeezes, woo! Keep engaging through your belly. So think about belly button drawing down towards your spine. So again, not big yoga back bend bridge, as lovely as those are. This is not the time. It's all about the glutes, the quads, just wake up the lower body. Let's move into some calf raises. You might want to walk your feet just a touch closer towards your glutes. In three, two, 
and one hips high. You can walk feet in, heels up, heels down, heels up, heels down, heels up, heels down. So keep your hips lifted, keep them in one line, belly engaged. We're just lifting our heels as high as we can get them. Come onto balls of your feet, then top the feet forward, squeeze your calves. Keep squeezing those buns, work those quads, you got it. Let's leave our heels high, add that hip pulse once again. In three, two, and one, heels high, and you pulse your hips. Up, down, up, down. Whew. Let's lower our heels in three, two, and one. Hips high, set your heels down. Press into your left foot. Send your right leg high to the ceiling. Full range with your hips. Three, two, and one. Inhale down, exhale up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Should be feeling this in that left glute. I know I am. Keep pressing down through your left foot. Let's pulse, three, two, one, pulse, up, down. Keep breathing, keep squeezing. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Right foot down, left leg high, full range. In three, two, one, hips go down, hips go up, hips go down, hips go up. Press into that right foot, squeeze that right glute. Left leg is strong, keep kicking it up to the ceiling. We're so close, you guys, stay with it. Let's take one last pulse, end it strong. In three, two, one, just pulse. This is it, you guys, we're here to end. Soften your shoulders, maybe you close your eyes, breathe into that right glute. Five, four, three, two, and one, drop both feet. Drop your hips, holy moly, hug your knees into your chest. Shake that out. Woo! Beautiful work, you guys. Warm up is done. Hopefully your lower body is feeling a little fired up. So we're gonna get into the core. Knee friends to class. You're gonna see me looking at this guy a lot. It's a timer. 20 seconds, we move full range. 10 seconds, we hold or pulse. We're gonna take two core moves, make a little sequence, travel through the same exact sequence four total times. First move on our backs, elbow to knee, toe taps. Bring your hands behind your head. As you exhale, crunch up, elbows top your knees, so you hug your knees in towards your chest. Inhale, lower your head, gently tap your toes down. Exhale, you crunch into a little ball. Inhale, you lower head, tap your toes. Let's start there, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Exhale, crunch, inhale, tap. Exhale, squeeze those upper abs. Inhale, squeeze your lower abs as you tap your toes with control. Drop your feet, pulse through center. In three, two, one, feet down, reach your arms between your thighs, little pulse. Hands come behind your head, straight leg bicycles. Three, two, and one, legs up. Lower left leg to hover as you reach your left elbow to your right knee. Exhale, you switch. So similar to regular bicycles, but both legs are straight and strong the entire time. Legs up, reach hand to opposite foot. In three, two, one. Legs high, right hand taps left foot. Left hand taps right foot. Back to those elbow to knee toe taps. In three, two, and one. Hands behind your head. Exhale, crunch, inhale, tap. So, when you tap your toes, notice if you start arching your back, keep your low back rounded, really squeeze the low belly, gentle tap with control. Drop your feet, crunch up through center. Three, two, one, plant your feet down, clap your hands together, pulse forward. Straight leg bicycles, let's twist. Three, two, and one, hands behind your head. So again, legs are straight and strong the entire time. We're just lowering one to hover, then the other. Lead with your shoulders. Try to get your shoulder blades off of your mat. Twist from your obliques, not just your neck. Legs up to the ceiling, hand to opposite foot. In three, 
two, and one. Reach up and over, right hand taps your left foot, left hand taps your right foot. Elbow to knee, toe taps. In three, two, one. Back to the top, just like that, you guys. You're halfway there. Two rounds down, two to go. Third round, you got it. Exhale, crunch it up. Inhale with control, lower your head, gently tap your toes, squeeze low belly. Plant your feet, pulse it up through center. In three, two, and one. Palms press, arms are straight and strong. Reach forward, get shoulder blades off of your mat. Straight leg bicycles in three, two, and one. Find your twist, elbow, hands behind your head, excuse me. So again, not just cranking neck side to side, lead with your shoulder. I like to think about elbow coming outside of that opposite bent knee. Find that twist. Legs high, reach hand to opposite foot in three, two, and one. Reach it right, reach it left. You guys have one more round. I'm gonna hop back into it, and then you're done. Elbow to knee, toe tops in three, two, and one. Let's go. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, tap. Feet down, let's pull it up through center in three, two, and one. Give those hip flexors a break. Feet down, little pulse. We end strong, you guys. Straight leg bicycles in three, two, one. Hands behind your head. Let's go. Last ten. Legs up, hand to opposite foot in three, two, and one. This is it. Tap it out a little higher. Final three, two, one. Lay down, let that go. Feel free to reach your arms up overhead to stretch out your belly. Take a few slow, deep rounds of breath. <sighs> Beautiful work, you guys. You made it through your first core push. Feel free to grab a sip of water, towel off. We're gonna get into the fun stuff. First cardio and strength push. So this is where if you have dumbbells and wanna use them, just have them handy top of your mat so they're easy to grab. If you don't have dumbbells or just don't wanna use them, no worries at all. Body weight the entire time. Give your wrists a few little rolls. We're gonna start in a high plank with plank jacks. So feet will come out, in, out, in. You can decide if you hop with me. If that doesn't feel good, you step one foot in and out at a time. Shoulders over wrists, high plank. You're either tapping or hopping out and in with me. Hips don't come up too high. Keep them in line with your shoulders. 20 seconds here, let's go. Three, two, and one. Press away from your mat, feel that broadening through your shoulder blades. Whew. Last 10. Hips up, downward dog in three, two, one. Keep yourself a nice big stretch. Lengthen spine. Start to walk all the way up, roll up. If you wanna grab dumbbells, bring them to your heart. Turn to face the right side of your mat, side lunge, three, Two and one. Right foot steps out. Send your hips down and back. Step your right foot back to meet your left. Woo. Keep your chest lifted as you send your hips back. Feet together, chair pulse, top of your mat. Three, two, and one. Feet together, little pulse. If you are using dumbbells, set them down now. Jumping jacks in three. Two and one, weights down, jumping jacks. Go as fast or slow as you'd like. This is your cardio, try to get your heart rate up. And as always, if you're working with any injuries, feel free to modify. You can step one foot out and in at a time. Chair pulse, one more time in three, two, and one. Face the front of your mat, chair pulse, hips down and back. Regular push-ups, hands come down, three, Two, one, hands down, feet back, inhale, bend, exhale, push yourself up. You can do these on your toes, more support. You can drop down to your knees. 
Keep your belly, your quads, your glutes all engaged. Downward dog in three, two, one. Tuck your toes, stretch that out, take a big breath. That's your sequence. Back into those plank jacks. Three, two, one. High plank. Out and in, out and in. So you have four rounds. That was round one. I'll hop back into this with you on our last round. 10 more seconds, plank jacks. Downward dog, three, two, one. Take a breather, hips up and back, big breath. Walk all the way up, roll up. Feel free to grab dumbbells. Turn to face the left side of your mat this time. Left foot moves, side lunge, three, two, and one. So I'll take it on the side so you can see. Left foot steps out. Hips go down and back, but don't find a big back bend. Keep your belly engaged, heart reaching forward, chest is lifted. Weight in your heels. Step it back together. Step to the side, hips down and back. Have it together. Chair pulls. Three, two, and one. Top of your mat. Feet together, weight in your heels. Jumping jacks, stitch those dumbbells. Three, two, and one. Weights down, jumping jacks. That doesn't feel good. You can take more side lunges. You can also just kind of step one arm, one leg out at a time. Let's take chair pulses one more time. Face the front of your mat. Three, two, and one. Front of your mat, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your core. So again, not a big back bend. Tailbone down. Push-ups. Three, two, one. Hands down, feet back. As you inhale, bend. As you exhale, power through your chest, your arms. Push yourself back up. Again, don't get lazy in the belly and the lower body. We just warm them up. So squeeze the core, the quads, the glutes. Strong line of energy with your body. Downward dog in three, two, one. Stretch it out. Just like that, you guys. You're halfway there. Two rounds down, two to go. Take a big breath. Plank jacks. Let's go. Three, two, and one. High plank. You hop feet out and in. Or again, step one foot in and out at a time. Drop those hips in line with your shoulders. You're so close. Downward dog in three, two, one. Lengthen your spine, take a nice big breath. Walk all the way up, roll up. Feel free to grab dumbbells, bring them to your heart. Turn to face the right side of your mat. Right leg moves, side lunge. Three, two, one. Exhale, lunge, hips go down and back. Bring it together. Ten down, ten to go. Keep it up. Yes, you guys, you got it. Feet together, pulse it out in three, two, one. Feet together, weight in your heels. Imagine you're sitting in a little chair, a little pulse. Jumping jacks. Three, two, one. Dumbbells down, jumping jacks. Move at your own pace. Keeping that heart rate up. Building that heat, last 10. Chair pulls, face the top of your mat in three, two, and one. Face forward, just so you're set up for your push-ups, little tiny pulses. Hands down, feet back, push-ups, let's go. Three, two, and one. Plant your hands, inhale, bend. Exhale, push yourself up, use your breath, it helps, I promise. Whenever you're in doubt, think about exhaling as you're doing the hard work, right? <sighs> Downward dog, three, two, one. Take your breather. All right, you guys, one more round. I'm gonna do it with you. This is it, we get a break. Plank jacks, let's go. In three, two, and one. High plank, out, in, out, in. Black 10. Downward dog in three, two, and one. Stretch. Walk all the way up, roll up. Turn to face the left side of your mat. I'm gonna face you, so I'm gonna move to the other side of my mat. Left side lunge, three, two, and one. Left foot out, hips down and back. Bring your feet back together.
chair pulse. Three, two, and one. Feet together, pulse. Jumping jacks. Three, two, one. Weights come down. Last 10. Chair pulls top of your mat in three, two, and one. Whoop. Top of your mat, chair pulls. Take a big breath, 20 seconds of push ups, then we're done. Three, two, one. Hands down, feet back, and let's go. Try some on your toes, last 10. Three, two, one. Child's pose. Take a break. Amazing work, you guys. So that was our first cardio and strength push up class. Kind of the meat and potatoes of this workout. You made it. Take what you need, catch your breath, maybe you grab some water. And we're gonna get back into the core. So we're gonna take kind of a funky little combo of a sit up with two punches. That's gonna be our first move. And then we're gonna take Russian twists. So we have two moves. We're gonna go back and forth between them four times. So eight rounds, Tabata style. 20 seconds, we're gonna work really, really hard. 10 seconds, we're gonna rest. For our little sit up punches, I've been liking um, using my couch, I tuck my toes underneath the bottom of it. You can't really see my feet, but my toes are tucked. You can also press your feet up against the wall if you want just some stability. In normal class, we don't use anything, so it's totally fine if you just plant your feet. Come on to your back. As you exhale, sit up. Two punches, right, left, lower it down. Exhale, sit up, right, left. Inhale, lower. Cool. 20 seconds here, get set up. We'll give you guys five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, timer is on. Exhale, sit up, right, left, punch. Inhale, lower down. Three, two, and one, break. Move away from your couch or wall if you were using it. Russian twist come next. Feel free to use your, a dumbbell if you'd like. Three, two, one. Lean back, crowd chops. Exhale, twist to the right. Exhale, twist to the left. Last 10. Three, two, one, break. There you go, those are your two moves. 10 seconds to recover. We'll go back into that sit up punches. Three, two, and one. Exhale, sit up, punch, punch. Inhale, lower it down. Lower down with control, kind of articulate through your spine. Keep squeezing belly button towards your spine as you lower down. You're right there. You have three, two, and one, break. Take that off, getting back into obliques, Russian twist in three, two, and one. So lean back, crowd chest. Drop your shoulders down your back so we're not all hunched up. Twist to the right, twist to the left. If you don't have dumbbells or just don't want to use them, use your hands exactly like I'm doing. I like to let my gaze follow my hands, kind of finish off that rotation. Three, two, one, break. All right, you're halfway there. Four rounds down, four to go. Back to your sit-up punches in three, two, and one. Pace is up to you. Last 10, halfway there. You have three, two, one, break. Good 
stuff, you guys. Make your way back into Russian twists in three, two, and one. Exhale right, exhale left. So I've been doing mine with my feet on my mat, but you can also make it a little harder. Float your feet off your mat in a boat pose. Feel free to try that on. Three, two, one, break. All right, you guys, I'm gonna do these last two rounds with you. Each move one more time, then we are completely done with belly up core. Let's end strong. Three, two, one, sit up, two punches, lower down. Lift with control, try not to swing your arms. Three, two, and one. All right, final round of Russian twists. Let's go, three, two, and one. So again, feet can also be floated up in a boat. Be gentle with your spine, move with control, stability, use those obliques. Last 10. Three, two, one. You are done. Good work, you guys. <sighs> no more belly up core. You did it. Good work. So we're gonna get back into our legs and our glutes. This is what I mentioned earlier. If you do have a resistance band that you wanna use, now's your time. Go ahead and grab it. If you're using it, wrap it around your thighs. So please not your knees. Bring it up a little bit, about two inches or so, so they're snug on your thighs. We're gonna come into a tabletop, so all fours this time. We're gonna take one round of donkey kicks, two rounds of fire hydrants. So, you can take these on your palms. I prefer my forearms, but you do what feels good to you. Left knee down, flex your right foot. These are donkey kicks. Right knee will track directly behind you. Stamp bottom of your right foot up to the ceiling. 20 seconds, let's go. Three, two, one. Timer is on. Keep both hips in one line. Keep that weight evenly distributed so we're not rolling onto one side or the other. Woo. Keep that right knee lifted out of pulse in three, two, and one little pulse up and down. If your right forearm is down, bring your right palm down. You open up fire hydrants. Three, two, and one. Right palm comes down. Right knee opens out to the right side of your mat. Inhale, you lower that knee back down. I know it's not sexy, but think about a dog and a fire hydrant. That's the action we're going for. Getting into gluteus medius, outer right glute. Let's pulse in three, Two, and one, pulse, up, down, woo! Fire hydrants one more time. Three, two, one, full range, inhale down, exhale up. If you're using a band, you're working against that resistance, really, really squeeze. Last 10 seconds, you got it. Woo! Three, two, one more good one. Good. 10 seconds to recover. Feel free to adjust your band a little bit. Same exact thing on the left side. One donkey kicks, two rounds of fire hydrants. Three, two, one, let's go. So left knee tracks directly behind you. Keep your low back neutral, so really engage through your belly. This movement is coming from the left glute, the left leg, not the low back. Let's pulse in three, Two, one, pulse it out, down and up. Fire hydrants, left palm comes down. In three, two, and one. Open your left knee out to the side. Get into that outer left loop. Exhale as you lift. Pulse in three, two, one, pulse, woo! My legs are burning. All right, you guys, 20 seconds, then we're done. Three, two, one, full 
range. Inhale down, exhale up. Last 10. Three, two, and one. Send your hips back to your heels. Take a child's pose. Release those outer hips. Feel free to take a little rock side to side. Whew. All right. Beautiful work, you guys. Come on up. Ditch that resistance band if you used it. They're so sneaky. They never seem like they would be that hard. And then I'm always super challenged. All right. Quick plank series. Let's stabilize the muscles in our core, our obliques, and with a bang, one last cardio strength push. And then you, my friends, are done with your workout. Okay. Right side forearm plank. Right forearm comes down, palm comes down. You can take these on your hips, or excuse me, on your feet or your knees. You want your hips as high as possible. Reach left fingertips up to the ceiling. We're just taking hip dips today. Exhale as you lift your hips higher. Inhale, lower them down. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Lift out of your right shoulder. Notice if you're like collapsing all of your weight into it. Really press into your forearm. Use the strength of your obliques to lift your hips higher. Carving out that waistline, last 10. Left arm comes down. We hold our forearm plank in three, two, and one, swivel to face your mat, forearm plank. So reach crown of head forward, squeeze your quads, kick your heels back. Imagine there's a wall behind you. Send your heels into them. Really press into your mat so we're not collapsing into the shoulders. We're broadening, lift up. Squeeze belly button to your spine. Hips are in line with shoulders. 10 more seconds. We have lat pull downs, getting into backside body in three, two, and one. Lower all the way down to your belly, untuck your toes. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, lift chest, elbows back, squeeze shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lift. Getting into latissimus dorsi, backside body. Undo all of that sitting, rounding forward we've been doing all day. Last 10. Left side hip dips, then we're done. Three, two, and one. Left forearm down, right arm high. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Stack your right hip on top of your left. You're so close, you guys. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. You're done. Hot damn. All right, friends. Let's take a solid 30 seconds or so. Recover. Feel free to find a seat. Take some nice big head rolls. Some nice big shoulder rolls. Some little twists. Just let all of that go. Okay. I'm going to grab a sip of water. I encourage you to do the same. So we're going to end with a bang. One last cardio strength push. Eight minutes, then you're done. Same thing as earlier. Four moves makes our sequence. Going to travel through the same exact sequence four times. We're going to take double pulse frog squats as our second move. If you know you like to hold dumbbells, have them handy. Really the only time you'll need dumbbells if you want. Start with mountain climbers. High plank. Same as our plank jack, shoulders come over your wrists, find a nice high plank, mountain climbers, drive your knees into your chest, get that heart rate up. Let's go, three, two, one, 20 seconds, timer is on. Drop your hips in line with your shoulders. Downward dog in three, two, one, hips up and back, find that stretch. Walk up, roll up. Grab your dumbbells if you want them. 
feet wide, heels in, toes out, double pulse, frogs, one, three, two, and one, hands to heart, two pulses, exhale, straighten your legs, squeeze your glutes. So again, heels point in, toes point out, make sure your knees are tracking over your feet as you drop those hips. We hold in three, two, and one, drop it low, hold that squat. Set your dumbbells down if you use them. Jump squats, three, two, and one. Inhale, squat, exhale, jump. If you are not a fan of jumping, you can come onto tippy toes. Keep working out those calves. If you're jumping, this is plyometrics, building power in those legs. Pulse it out in your squat in three, two, and one. Nice and low little pulse. Hands come down for level changers, right side leads. High plank to forearm plank. Three, two, and one. High plank, so we're on our palms. Lower your right forearm, your left forearm. Right palm, left palm. Right, left, right, left. You might know these as commandos. Downward dog in three, two, one. Stretch. That's your sequence, friends. Round one is done. Three to go. Mountain climbers. Three, two, one. High plank. Run it out. All right. Four rounds. I'll hop into the last one with you. This is all you guys. Drive those knees into your chest. Get that heart rate up. This is your cardio. Downward dog. Three, two, one, stretch it out. Lengthen your spine, take a big breath. Walk all the way up, roll up. Dumbbells if you want them, it's okay if you don't. Double pulse frog squat, three, two, and one. So there's a little side view. Again, feet are wide, wider than your hips. Heels in, toes out. Never a back bend. Hips go down and back. Keep engaging your core. We did so much core work, put it to use. Chest is lifted, two pulses. Exhale, dig through your heels, squeeze your glutes at the top. Hold, three, two, one. Drop your hips, just hold it in your squat. Take a big breath. Settle those dumbbells down if you use them. Jump squats, three, two, and one. Same alignment, same form as those squats we just did. You're just adding in a jump at the top. So rate of force production, plyometrics, these big jumping, powerful motions. Really good for athletes. Let's pulse. Three, two, one. Nice and low. Pulse it out. We're going to lead with our left side this time. Level changers, commandos. Three, two, and one. High plank. Left forearm, right forearm. Left palm, right palm. Try to keep your hips as steady as possible so they're not moving side to side. Takes a lot of core engagement. It's a lot of upper body. It's a lot of core as well. Downward dog, take a break in three, two, one. Stretch it out. Just like that, halfway there, two rounds down, two to go. Four minutes of effort and you are done. Mountain climbers, three, two, one. High plank, drive it out. Again, the speed is totally up to you. I always encourage you to listen to your body, to slow it down whenever you need. Again, this is our final push. So find that balance between listening to what you need and pushing your edge so we end strong. Downward dog, three, two, and one. Big stretch. Walk up, roll up. Dumbbells if you want. Double pulse, frog squat, three, two, and one. Drop it low, two pulses. Dig through your heels. Feel that activation through your glutes. Straighten your legs. Chest lifted the entire time. Drop your shoulders down your back, belly engaged. Whew, I'm sweating. Hold in three, two, one. Just hold, take a big breath. <sighs> Ditch those dumbbells, jump squats. Let's go, three, two, and one. If you're jumping, awesome, get as high as you can, but do land light on your feet so you're not messing with your ankles. Again, if jumping doesn't serve you today, or if you're like me and are pretty sure your downstairs neighbors are getting pretty pissed at you at all the jumping, it's fine, tippy toes, work those calves. Pulse it out in three, two, and one. Nice and low, little pulse. Keep engaging through the belly. Back to that right side, level changers. Arms come down in three, two, 
one, cartwheel your hands down, right forearm, left forearm, right palm, left palm. These are pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie, so if it's a little bit too much right now, you can always drop your knees. But try to keep moving, even if you slow it down, even if you do two awesome ones, I'm super stoked. As long as you're trying, I'm here for it. Downward dog, three, two, and one. All right, one more round, I'm gonna do it with you. I'm gonna turn up the music a little bit. And we're gonna take mountain climbers. Let's go, three, two, and one. Two minutes of work, you guys, you got it. Last 10. Downward dog, three, two, one, stretch. Back up, roll up. Double pulse, frog squat. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Two pulses. Straighten it up. Knees tracked over feet. Five metal alignment. Protect the joints. We hold in three, two, one. Just hold. Dumbbells down. Jump squats. In three, two, and one. Inhale, exhale, lift. Last 10. Woo! We pulse in three, two, and one pulse. All right, guys, big breath. We end strong. Left side level changers, then you are done. Three, two, one. High plank, let's go. Left, right, left, right. Try to keep those hips still. Last 10 seconds. You have three, two, and one. Drop your knees, child pose. Amazing job, you guys. We <sighs> made it. We're done with the effort. Give yourself a pat on the back. Whew. So, dear body, it's your day. If you have plans, feel free to end the meeting whenever you want. Please promise me, though, you'll stretch it out a little bit. Give yourself some time to recover. You can stay on with me, take a stretch. If you're doing Orion's class at 6.15, feel free to log off, come back on in a bit. I'm gonna put on my chill music. That is not my chill music, that is my lost cardio push music. Okay, once you have just slowed down your heart rate, caught your breath, grab some water. Let's meet on our backs once again, take whatever you need, little movements. Take a figure four, get into those outer hips. Right ankle over left thigh. Keep your right foot flexed. Figure four. So you can make this as intense as you want. The more you hug your left knee in towards your chest and then guide this right knee forward away from your face, the deeper the stretch should get in that outer right hip. One more big breath. Good. Set your left foot down, right leg high. Grab for whatever feels accessible. Stretch out the back of that right leg. Feel free to add an ankle circle. One way, other way. If that feels good. Other side, figure four, left ankle over right thigh. Keep your left foot flexed. Breathe into that outer left hip. Good. Set your right foot down, left leg high.
stay still, or maybe you add that ankle circle. <sighs> Take a nice detoxifying twist. Let both knees fall over to the left side of your mat. You can extend your arms straight. You might bend them into a little gold post, whatever feels good. And with each inhale, invite some length into your spine. Exhale, get heavy, sink into your mat. One more breath. Take it to the other side. Knees fall to the right. Good, last breath. And then bring that back to center. Let's rock on up to a seat. Stretch out the upper body. Tricep stretch, right elbow up. Grab right with your left hand. Good. Right arm across your body. Gaze over your right shoulder. Other side. Left elbow up. And left arm across your body. Clasp your hands at your low back. Take a nice big inhale as you punch your fist down. Open up your heart. Breathe for three, two, and one. Release. Take a big inhale. Circle sweep your arms all the way up. Press your palms together. Exhale, bring hands down to your heart. Take a moment to thank yourself. Acknowledge all of your efforts. And I thank you always. Take care of yourself out there. I miss you guys. Namaste. <sighs> Amazing work, you guys. Have an awesome dinner. Drink water. Continue to take care of yourself. <sighs> I'll read all the chats. I'll drop the recording in that Google folder. Feel free to download, save it, come back to this whenever you want. Oh my God, those jump squats. Meg, you are welcome. Annie, Paris, Julia, Ruth, Veronica, Emily, Loretta. I am dying as well. You can see I'm sweating super hard. I miss you all so much. Thank you, thank you. Bye guys.